And there we go, first steel's in, and I'll tell you what, It's lovely, but it's such a nice brick match. Alright, this is a continuation of the steel workbook. So, when you're organising your SIM cards, this is part two of all this. Full steam ahead today. Today is the day to get this finished. It's not a matter of if we finish, it's when. So, got here as early as we could. Got to Fairwoods when it opened, got some more sand cement. I'm getting the mix on now. Dad's having a bit of a tidy up in there. So then, once I'm done with the mix, he's going to get them last three brick in. Um, we're going to get some brick in. Let these steels just do everything. <laughs> so, I'll show you, give you a little reminder. So, ooh, it's ready for the steel to go in. All we need to do is just get the pad stones in and get a little bit of patching up in the pad stones at the back. Then the steels can go in. We can uh, prop them up with that grows. And once the steels are in, we can take these acros out and use them to also prop the steel up if need be. But yeah, and then we just gotta get the block work done on here too and on there. So. We got this. Oh. Right, so I'll, I'll get you set up and get this mix finished.
and there we go. First steel's in, and I tell you what. I tell you what, where's the level, Dad? First time going in. I will have that. It's not often that happens. So that steel's propped up, up there with that acro, <coughs> and then do you want to get the pad stones in now or? I'm gonna break. Okay, I'm gonna maybe cut this bit out. We're well, doing drink made so. It's yeah. Pass nice so. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Acro can come out now. Well let's, well, let's get the pad stones in first then, and then we'll sort that out. So yeah, so that steel's been propped up with that echo now, and it's very tightly propped up there. And we're going to try and get the pad stones bricked up into there now. And then, as Dad just said before, because that, that steel's holding everything up now, these acros can come down. Because that's the whole point of that steel, prop all that up. Don't loosen that one up. Don't tighten it. Oh. Yep. We have two steels up. That one was not as cooperative as the uh, the back one. Bloody hell! It tried to really jump off twice. It scared the living daylights out of me. If uh, if we were filming, you'd have heard my blood curdling screams. He did squeal, and the custom came out to see where I was squealing. <laughs> but uh, I've seen what happens when a steel falls, and I don't want to see that again. But it's in. This one's got two actors propping it up, and we're getting the rods in now. And show you that we're doing it properly. There's nut washer, nut washer, nut washer, nut washer. So they're, they just need extra tightening with the spanners and we'll go get them in a minute but for now we're just going to get them all rotted in so so they're all done. But <sighs> I'll get you set back up while we do this and uh, catch you in a minute.
And there we have it. We've just hit lunch time and the steels are completely finished. Steels are up, bedded in, bolted on, pad stones in, completely tightly bedded, both sides. Big, the big milestone, done. So, now that the steels are done, after lunchtime, we're going to start block work and just get them done quickly and neatly as possible. Get out of here, hopefully, hopefully before it goes dark. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, we'll catch you after lunch. Right, it's after lunch, quarter to one. All tidied around here. There we go, that's been done from there. Same there. So, that's changed the outlook inside the conservatory bits. There's more options for furniture inside now. All tidied up. Another stage done. Steel's obviously done. Bit of block work to knock out, but um, tidy up to do. Bit more tidy up to do. We can only do so much because we're running out of bags and room. A little bit more to take out the other side. Steels are all in nice, nice and smooth, nice and tight. All the bolts go. The couch is already showing you. Bolts in both sides. And that's it. A lot of work to do there. A lot of work to do there. That's Alex's side. That's my side. So, um, yeah, let's get the balls loaded out and get this spot work finished. So, this is it for us today. So, I'll give you a little catch up later on.
And with that, we are finished. Job is done. And we're going to have to get tidied up. All this, before five o'clock by the way, which I was expecting to be done at like seven, so fantastic. So I'll give you a quick show around. First off, got the internal walls and two quarter brick at the top. Same as dad's side. Got our steels, obviously, the big part, with our pad stones in either side, bolted in properly. Just a quick reminder, there you go, let's go all the way in. Washer and a nut, washer and a nut. All the way. So, bolted in, pad stoned in, bedded up. So we're just going to leave them in for Vic to take, whenever he feels like, but that's that, and then show you the outside, which you've already got a glimpse of, you already saw my brickwork, but I can take you now to show your dad's properly. There's our uh, festive guest. And it's lovely that it's such a nice brick match, because you'd barely be able to tell that there was even windows there in the first place. It blends in, lovely. Same on the other side, and then Obviously you got the rest of that. So, how'd you find that, Dad? That was a, not relaxing, but a nice straightforward four days on. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't relaxing, but it was, as far as steel jobs go, it was a really nice one. So, boom. And that'll be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, because we greatly appreciate that. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. Again, it's a massive help for our channel and we greatly appreciate it. This has been Bricklang with Steve and Alex with a double RSJ. We'll see you in the next video.